character uh, was a big part of the movie Only the Brave. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even imagine how difficult it must have been, well, for me anyway, if I was in your shoes to kind of relive these tragedies again, you know, four years after the fact again, especially over the last two days and all the build up leading up to this movie. Mm -hmm. How have you handled that? I think that the big thing for me is just to, I have been, I am incredibly grounded. I have a huge life outside of the movie. I have a family and a lot of really good friends, people that, people I connect to very deeply. And I have all of my animals and I have the Eric Marsh Foundation and we have been crazy busy lately. So really most of my focus is on that life as opposed to the movie. The movie is um, beautiful and amazing and I'm so grateful for it, but it's just a part of an already incredible life that I have, that I've created for myself. And so the more I muck stalls and brush horses and go to my job and do work for the foundation volunteering, it, it allows all of that other stuff to just be momentary. So what was your involvement with the movie? I mean, I assume they contacted you before they started filming and mm -hmm. gave some advice and that sort of thing. And what yeah. else did you do for them? I shared with them about me and Eric. That was, and about my role. So they, originally my role was very small and the more they started talking to me um, and discovering more about me with the horses and stuff, my role got bigger because I have a cool job. You do. I do, yeah. And they wanted to, they wanted, the more they started to, to, to get my involvement, the more they started to see that the family aspect of this job is extremely valuable. And so without having Eric's wife more present in the movie, they weren't able to show that that this life is hard on families. And I'm so I'm very grateful that they did that. So I had a very, I had a large involvement in that. And um, I was on the set a couple times and, you know, just getting um, to know Jennifer a bit, having her get to know me and a lot of riding. I did a lot of riding on the set, riding, riding, riding horses, yeah with Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and their Wranglers and stuff and being involved in that. Just being, just during breaks or was a particular purpose to the writing or like helping yeah. to be familiar with I that? think it was mostly so that Jennifer could see me writing because um, I have my own writing style and so it's way more a cowboy than it is anything else and I wanted to make sure that it was um, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't more of an English style because that wouldn't be reminiscent of Eric and I. We were Western writers together, which is what I still am. So I wanted to make sure that was adequately shown in this movie. Mm -hmm. It was important. So did you have much contact with other actors like Josh Brolin or James Badge Steele? Josh and I um, worked a lot together, which was really good. Um, we met a lot. We met here in Prescott. He's been here and we hung out a lot in Prescott together um, and hung out a lot on the set so that he could get to know Eric, which was wonderful. I, I gave him Eric. Was that important to him? Absolutely. It was really hugely important to Josh. He became Eric. And without having been able to see his things and to be part of his world in this way, it would have been very difficult for, for him to have really captured the role like he did. So he really did. He is Eric in that movie. Yeah, I've seen some quotes um, from him, and, and including on his Instagram account, and he frequently brings up how important the movie was to him and, and uh, the closeness he felt with the firefighters. Of course, mm -hmm. he himself was a volunteer firefighter mm -hmm. some time ago. Where was that? Mesquite, Arizona? Yeah, it was down south, down in southern Arizona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And it seemed like he wears a, the Granite Mountain uh, shirt frequently whenever he has an opportunity to do. Yeah, he really honors the crew, which is wonderful. What was, do you have any idea what the reaction about the movie is from the other 18 families? I don't, I don't. I've purposefully not engaged in that really with everybody else because I don't want to speak for them. Oh, yeah. go ahead and speak for them. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is what so-and-so said. Now, I, I think it's important to get their, their perspectives on it because they're, their husbands and sons were as valuable as Eric was and as Brendan was, so I feel like their voice is necessary in this mm -hmm. to come from them. Does that make sense? Of course. Yeah. Hot Fire Today is a crappy publication. <laughs> Do not participate in any of their online forums. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wildfire Today is an amazing publication. <laughs> uh, that won't keep you down, I'm sure, but... Uh... <laughs>